put away a lot of coke and transactions and scammings happening in the gated communities because this is white collar crime mm. a lot of banks when people at them not them look them see, say all 50,000 come out of them account and them don't know how because it's an organized crime and crime is uptown crime is downtown it's in middletown it's all over jamaica news flash yes it's all over jamaica and police commissioner if you didn't know, let me teach you this morning. Them said that you're Google Gaga. I don't believe you're a Google Gaga. I believe that you make sense sometimes. But Major Anthony Anderson, crime is in your yard. If they're amongst your helper who are clean, it probably be a son that is a criminal that you don't know about. Crime is everywhere, Roger. And I'm going to switch my conversation let's, this morning. Hold on before we switch, because I don't think we may have the time to switch it. It's but, just one little thing I want to mention, this little apology that was made. Okay. The issue here is, the cr criminals have moved beyond us a long time ago. You know what, I'm, what am I going to say? Criminals have figured out the system a long time ago. And way back mm -hmm. when I was a student mm -hmm. at the university, people used to say that criminals were already funding educated people to come into university. They were channeling people to the police force, channeling them into banks, channel channeling them even into the military. And the Klansman the trial. The Klansman trial. And all the of a sudden, the amount of evidences Andrei. that have gone missing, Roger. I'm speaking. But I'm just adding to your support, my Well, you friend. don't add at the same tone. You add under it. The amount of evidences so, that have been found. The missing. point I'm saying here mm -hmm. is... The gangs are far more sophisticated and and connected than we suppose because they are very much plugged in into the formal system because they have them formal implants into the system. And we are still just scurrying around. To just the and they are way deeper. You know, like headless chickens. They're way deeper. Right? Because we did not do what we should have done when we should have done it. Political parties were busy playing with criminals. Right? To Imagine keep each other in line. Mm -hmm. And they were they were they were using those blood monies to do formal work, putting up formal structures, putting up uh businesses to do laundering. They were doing all of these things and we weren't paying attention. You know, Roger, I want you to play the chronic song. Blood mo um blood, blood money. money. We'll play that, but Andre. I'm gonna say is Campbell apologizes for Montague's black barb. General Secretary of the People's National Party has reportedly apologized to the characterization of the Jamaica Labour Party chairman as the leader of the black section of the JLP. Political ombudsman said that Gambler has expressed regret for the hurt and confusion caused has withdrawn the offensive word. Let me tell you this. Dayton Campbell made no apology. Dayton Campbell is one sad liability to any political party. In said before, when him, gaps, he has always done it. He has made a lot of gaffes and a lot of disrespect. One more day, you know, when we talk to him about it, you know, I said, Dayton, after everything, are you, do you regret saying that the man blocked me? Blocked me from social media. And I was saying to him, Dayton, there are certain things, Roger, you just don't say. There is a conversation about price increase in food. There's a conversation about crime. And the amount of people dying in January. There's a conversation about educational apartheid and the injustices in our system. And you carry the conversation to colorism. Dayton Campbell, don't call back my phone. Don't talk back to me because you, with all that you have been accused of, you know what you have been accused of. I said to you, light a candle, sing a song, and find your way out of retire into retirement. Find your way into retirement. Nobody knows what's here. You're the greatest liability to Mark Golding. Greatest political liability. Not even Peter Bunting and Angela Bound you know. Everything you say, everything you do, Dr. Dayton Campbell, it puts it in. No, every. I would say everything. No, but I think he, he is as he is a he is a do, he is uncontrollable. He is a beast and he's a hulk. He can transform into a gentleman, but said something and tip him off. I see him turning a one big green orange, one orange hulk. I wouldn't call him any of those names. Well, may I call him? I'm in a back down to call no, him so. Because, no, because 
I wouldn't call him any of those. Those are personal people. attacks. No, no personal attack. No, but he's personal attacks. you see that's personal attack. But when Dayton Campbell didn't tell me, forgot to take my medication, call me mad. Him out of order. But but the point. And him, 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 Andre, he disrespected just, the mental health society when he point. was on the debates and he said, "Oh, the next person on the side has mental health struggle." That's him for apologize for them wrong. They were the too. Him out of order, Roger. That's that you just want. the point. You don't you don't do measure for measure. Who get who is the Moses law and I fear and I are too fear too. No, that's not the philosophy. Yeah, in, and in Moses law and I fear and I are too fear too. Interesting enough, yeah. in in Israel, Israelite society, that law was not even practiced. Well, me I practice it. So that's not, but that's not the philosophy on first start. My yeah. point is, we we don't as much as we get upset every time a name is ascribed to you, we get upset every time you ascribe a name to somebody else. That is on that is that is bad caricature. Mm -hmm. We have to be respectful enough of people, even if we disagree with them. We can't just keep calling people name because calling people name get you call name, get you upset, and you call back yeah, name. I, I, I it's, a, it's a I vicious cannot, yeah. cycle. Yeah, we, My thing is the big, the bigger issue for me is it's not okay uh, that Dayton Campbell doesn't have the mentorship around him that can guide him in terms of when you open that microphone, sir, and you speak to the world. You have to be mindful of what you say. You are a, yeah. you are an attorney at law. You know these things. You're, you're he's not an attorney at law. He's just practice law. Sorry, not, him you, still have not a, you have a degree in, in law. In law. A and he has a degree in, in medicine. So you know he practices as a medicine is a medical doctor. That's what I'm saying. Him just wrong you have, and strong. You have a medical degree. You also know the issues to do with bedside manner and how you treat people of all different classes. And he also and knows about parliamentary procedures. And you are a, and you are a politician. former politician. You know. Parliamentary procedures with all of that kind of That's, knowledge base and experience. You're supposed experience. to treat everybody with, as if, with good faith. You can't, you, you can't say these things. Him, me tell you, say, he, it's a sad, him sad, him is a great excuse and a liability to the PMP. The PMP must get rid of him. He will make the PMP become obsolete in the next election if he's Jensen because he has no political acumen. He's a political liability.